hello and welcome to this video in this video i am gonna show you how you can add uh, the screen of terms and condition check marks and this is mandatory check marks like uh, if you don't check mark uh, it will not allow to add to cart or buy it now or any buy now button it will not allow to click so if i click here nothing working so if i again uh, click here you can see it's now workable both the two button is workable so how you can do that uh, so let's get started uh, the first thing is uh, you need to come to your dashboard and then come here and click on three dots and edit code uh, then you need to find the main product section so first i am searching for here like a product product dot json and here you can see product.json and here you can see the main main file so main file is the main product so we will have to find this section so here you can see main product section it can be different based on the themes so here uh, after coming here uh, you have to uh, copy the code and paste it so here is the code file i will add us in the description the link so you can uh, download and uh, copy paste this code the first thing is that the terms main code so double click on it and copy all the code and then come to the dashboard press ctrl f or command f and search for cage and uh, press enter now you can see cage block dot type right after this line give a space and paste the code all the code you have copied from the main terms main code dot txt and then save it again you need to copy the code from terms schema settings so double click on it copy and come here to the same section and search for adroid apps and here you can see type adroid app and after the curly bracket closed and comma give space and paste the code and save it now uh, if you go to customize theme customize From here, you need to go to the product page and click here, add blocks. So I already have added this one earlier. So I'm just updating this one. Let's save it. So you can see uh, there is no block right now. So to add to the uh, terms and condition mandatory block, you need to click here, add block, and you will see that terms and condition. So you can place it anywhere, like uh, it's uh, currently on the bottom, but you can grab this and put uh, before the buy now buttons, right? before the buy now buttons, here, you can see. And if you click on the, the settings, you can see all the settings text before the links i have read terms and condition you can even change this and you can even change this <laughs> and you can link your terms and condition page from here and here is the checkbox signs uh, actually this is the font size checkbox uh, box font size sorry this is a checkbox this size so you can make it bigger you can see it's bigger a normal text color and the linked color and here is the your error message color please agree to the terms and condition so you can also set margin top and bottom if i save this 
you can see uh, please agree to the terms and condition here and uh, this button is already disabled so you can change this error message back background color to either black or anything you want and border color as well also the margin and if you save it you should see the option here you can see so i'm just giving the previous color like this one sorry okay and save it now if i come to the product page and uh, refresh you can see it has been added and it has been added to every product page like if you have multiple product template uh, you just uh, need to go to that uh, template and add it like this so if i check the mark you can see it's uh at a card uh, it's a clickable again if i uncheck it's not clickable I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you.